Good morning, church. Can we all stand up, please? As we prepare our hearts to receive communion, that word communion, this morning. Pastor texted me earlier this week, and he asked me, would I like to share the communion? I said, absolutely. And when he did, I started reading over the verses of scripture with the Lord, with the Lord's Supper. And that one verse just stirred at my heart, stirred. I couldn't put it down. Do this in remembrance of me. Remembrance of me. It stirred my spirit so much. The Holy Spirit brought so many things to my mind. The most important thing, that Jesus is our Passover lamb. This was 24 hours before he would go to the cross. He was taking care of business, preparing his disciples, giving them final instructions and letting them know, do this in remembrance of me. Friday's work. That death would bring forth a transformation because Sunday's work would bring forth new life. The scriptures, Paul said that Christ is our Passover lamb and he has been sacrificed. John the Baptist said that, behold, this is the lamb of God. Guess what that is? The Passover, God's Passover lamb. Peter described him as a lamb without spot or blemish. Perfect. Jesus is the only one qualified to be the perfect sacrifice. Why? Because he was the only one who could fulfill the command of God perfectly. Sinlessly was, his, was how he lived his life. In the Old Testament, the Passover lamb was just a mere foreshadow, a foreshadow to the true lamb of God who would come to take away all the offenses, sins of the world. Just as the lamb, you know, in Exodus, they applied the blood on the doorposts and on the sides, just as they applied the blood, and the destroyer saw that blood, he had to pass over. There was no judgment. Christ's blood, guess what? Christ's blood, when it's applied to you, believer, God's judgment is passed over on you. Not only that, and because he passes over you and it's applied to your life, you have been given eternal life as a believer. The first Passover, it freed Israel from bondage, slavery to Egypt and their masters. Jesus, what did he provide us? Freedom today. Freedom today from our bondage to sin. The power of sin. Not your offenses. The sinister source called sin, this power. And the world. You see, by faith through grace, through this sacrifice, this sacrificial blood of Jesus, we can apply that blood to our lives. The scriptures declare this. As many as received him. Have you received him? As many as received him, to them, he gave the right to become children to those who believe in his name, who are born of God, not of men. The word declares that whoever receives Christ as Lord and Savior, I love this. They shall be cleansed from all their unrighteousness. Their heart of stone that is enslaved to this power of sin will be removed. They will be given a new heart of flesh. They will be given a new spirit. And God's spirit will live within. You've been transformed. The first Passover. 
was decreed to be held in remembrance annually, year after year. Jesus commanded his disciples to remember his death in communion when he said, do this in remembrance of me until he comes back, until he returns. And he said, do this as often as you need to. So today, when we take up his body, I said that word, do this in remembrance of me. It couldn't escape me. He's our Passover lamb. I say this, thank you, Jesus, for bearing our sicknesses and carrying our pains, for being pierced for our transgressions, for being crushed for our iniquities. You have taken upon yourself the punishment that we so rightfully deserved and granted to us peace with God. Thank you. And by your stripes and by your wounds, we indeed are healed. And because of you, Jesus, we are now justified, forgiven, and healed of all our sickness, not just physically. Spiritually, because he is spirit and we are spirit. He took the bread. He gave thanks and he broke it. And he said, this is my body. Which is given, which means a gift. To you. Do this in remembrance of me. Take his body. And so today, as we partake of the cup of the new covenant in his blood, an eternal covenant. Let's also remember the benefits of a new life that we've been justified and declared righteous with his very own righteousness, righteousness, a gift. And his blood, it was shed so that we can have the forgiveness of all our sins, all forever. And in the same way, he took that cup and he said, this is the cup of the new covenant established by my blood. That's personal. He made this personal. And it is shed for you, a gift. Thank you, Lord. Receive this blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus.